the campus made a rule. They said, now there's only going to be these little uh, huts. That's where we were putting all the smokers. All the smokers go to the huts, and you're not allowed to smoke anywhere else, right? Well, being a young, rebellious male, and also tired, and I was out of class, you know, one day, I, was, I went outside the building after having performed excellently in whatever class I was in, and uh, I lit a cigarette, and I started smoking. Not in anyone's face. I didn't get in anyone's face and start blowing smoke. I didn't stand by the door and blow smoke at children. I just, you know, I was, I was outside, and I was smoking. Well, lo and behold, some little adjunct professor um, person trots up to me, and oh, oh, the smile, the, 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 how much she loved her opportunity to tell, inform me of the new rule. She informed me. You can't smoke here. This is, this is unacceptable. There's a, we've created huts for you to go smoke. And I said, very politely, I said, I know, you're right. And then I just continued to smoke. And then she, she said, so you can't smoke here. And I said, well, here's the problem with this. I real, This is true. I really did say this and really did and still believe this. And I wasn't mean. I wasn't yelling. I, was, I just said, here's the problem. No one's actually enforcing this rule. You're not, you can't, you can't cart me off to the hut. You're, there's no police that are coming down on me to throw me to the ground because I'm smoking a cigarette 15 feet away from everyone. See, your rule's not real because if you want to make a rule, you need to enforce it. And there's no enforcement here, is there? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> It just, and that was the end of the conversation. She just left, you know, and, and, and I continued and I smoked my cigarette and that was it. Um, but it causes, when people make these rules up and they, you know, there's always these people that want to, that, that you could see the joy on her mm -hmm. face as she approached me that she was going to be able to tell a stranger who's not harming anyone the, 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 the new the new law and she gets to she has no authority she doesn't have a badge she's not the cigarette police but she's gonna oh she she now makes she that is. badge at home she's <laughs> she has made that badge she has made that badge yeah. and she wears it and she just sits around thinking about how much she loves to you know tell people about the rules but at the end of the day there anybody there to enforce it and so all it did was make me more cynical about this is not a real rule this is fake mm -hmm. And it made me, and look, that person was a professor. I was a student. The, in, a, in, a, in a world that's well-balanced, I should have respect for that mm -hmm. person because ostensibly they are in a position of respect, right? That, so by me realizing the fact that this is realizing arbitrary. a whole lot of different, uh, that this is this arbitrary authority and, and rule and all that kind it of stuff. It undermines it. It undermines that person's position, it undermines the position of the entire, we could, if we're the really space, yeah. the entire institution, you know, I, I don't like that. I don't want that. I, and, and I'm not a particularly, you know, like, I'm not James Dean with the cigarette pack rolled up in my <laughs> sleeve trying to ride a motorcycle through the campus. I'm not trying to be, I'm really not trying, I, I, I grant you, I'm a little, I can be a little. I'm a little James Dean. <laughs> I can be, a, I can be a little, you know. Um, yeah. Um, not confrontational. What is the word like? I don't. You always I, say I it. Con, 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 yeah. Contrarian. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't like to initially when someone approaches me with something. I don't initially just agree with it. That's that, and that is hmm. possibly a character defect to some degree. But anyway, but but I was trying to say that I actually didn't take any like great joy. Of like, I told the man that I, that I can smoke where I want, and then like went and smoked in a bunch of kids' faces. I, that's not that isn't what I am. But anyway, no, I mean, I actually, I, go on. can I? Can we? Can we end so I can go smoke a cigarette <laughs> in freedom? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a good point, though. So let's tidy up this section sure. on the plague. But I, I think that that's. That's one of those costs that, that uh, we don't realize is that when you overextend authority and power without competence and reason behind it, it inevitably undermines 
the authority and power. And so it stokes this disdain for authority and power. And that's not healthy for a society and that's not healthy for our authority, um, our institutions of authority. Um, it, it's, it's really, it, it's, it's like that for everything, like for personal relationships. Like if you have a boss that's unnecessarily, uh, cruel and like always arbitrarily trying to create new restrictions on you like no actually you need to sign the emails out like this no actually you need to keep your your desk like this that doesn't make you want to follow any of the rules at that workplace even the ones that make sense it actually starts to make you question all of the different rules that were there it says well if this one is so blatantly arbitrary and 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 uh, based on a personal whim then what about this one and what about this one and that's where you get a danger that's where you start kind of degrading the cohesion of society and the ability to enforce and enact meaningful legitimate rules that actually do help things so i mean you know be the petty tyrant all you want but it's at the cost of being able to use the power of law to structure a society in a healthy way. I mean, it's a cost. I mean, because you look at places that that the power and, and, and rule of law is not based on actual competency or legitimacy or some kind of uh, a demonstrable outcome, but instead it's just power for the sake of power. Those places suck and nobody want to live there. And they don't produce a lot of great stuff because it creates a culture uh, that's not based on skill and outcome. Instead, it's a culture all based on power, based on who has the power, who can enact it first, who's on the right side of power. I mean, it's a foolish thing. And I think uh, the plague or the pandemic is something that brings that into light 